um, our experience at Mallinckrodt with our with Tenkoff catheter placements in patients with symptomatic mo refractory malignanocytes. So, um, malignanocytes it's a manifestation of end stage events in a variety, wide variety of cancers. Unfortunately. Uh, over half of patients with malignanocytes present with ascites at the time of their initial diagnosis, and uh, median survival um, following diagnosis um, in the article that I'm citing is 5.7 months. I, that's a little bit different from the um, previously um, cited um, data. Um, and it's associated with significant morbidity, mainly pressure symptoms, abdominal pain. So therapeutic options in these patients, um, tumor-targeted treatment such as surgical debulking or chemotherapy, whether it be systemic or interperitoneal, mm -hmm. and symptomatic relief. Um, as the previous presenter talked about, serial therapeutic paracentesis, which can be uncomfortable and cumbersome to patients to have to come back repeatedly to the hospital and have a pr procedure done, and uh, peritoneal drainage catheter placement, uh, Denver shunt placement, and diuretics. So this is uh, a, a picture of the Tankoff catheter that we place um, at Mallinckrodt. It's a 14 French catheter. It's 47 centimeters. It's um, the top limb of it is the part that sits outside the patient. These are two subcutaneous cuffs, one that sits by the skin site and one that sits just outside of the peritoneum, and there are numerous side holes along this limb of the catheter. So our technique, we identify a suitable pocket of ascites by ultrasound, use ultrasound guidance for needle placement. Uh, if you're not sure whether you're in a small locule or whether you're in the main um, um, body of, of, of ascites, you can inject contrast at this point um, to confirm, advance a guide wire into the peritoneum under fluoro, create that subcutaneous tunnel, which we typically do kind of oriented anteriorly for ease of, ease of use by the patient and place a peel away sheath into the peritoneum, feed the tank off into the peritoneal cavity, inject contrast to confirm interperitoneal positioning of the side holes, and then suture the catheter in place. So we had a total of 204 tank off catheter placements in 193 patients um, for malignant ascites in our department between uh, March 2001 and September 2012. We looked at the EMR and reviewed patient demographics, tumor type, number of catheter days, periprocedural complications, need for additional interventions, and clinical follow-up. So our average age of patients, um, in, uh, the average age of our patients was about 60 years. We had 120 females, 73 males. This is uh, a table of the um, primary malignancies for which we placed these. As you would expect, um, GI and GU malignancies top the list. Um, ovarian, pancreatic, followed by colorectal.